Trent Seven. I hope the WWE Universe is ready to sing. The following contest is a championship first round match. Making his way to the ring, representing Mustache Mountain from Wolverhampton, England. Weighing in at 216 pounds, Trent Seven. The thing about Trent Seven is that while he loves his big brother type role as Tyler Bates' mentor and tag team partner in Mustache Mountain, he always wants to prove that he too has what it takes to be a star in his own right. Uh, it sounds to me like he can't take the fact that his protege is always in the spotlight while he's relegated to sidekick duty. Saxon, I'm sure you can relate. Oh, cute, Corey. How can you deny that Trent Seven brings something to the table? Trent Seven isn't just some sidekick. It's the indie sensation, Cole Quinn. And his opponent from Orlando, Florida, weighing in at 210 pounds, Cole Quinn. This is a man who has not only had great success on the indie scene here in the U.S., but it was also developed a sizable international following in Japan. Yeah, Cole Quinn has been on management's radar for a while. And after going through some growing pains, trying to figure out his persona, it looks like he might be ready to compete at the highest level in WWE. Well, I think we can all agree that this will be no easy match for him here tonight. Yeah, but you could say that about every match here on the card. There's no such thing as a cakewalk here in the WWE. And remember, it's extreme rules here. Situations like this usually don't end very pleasantly. Oh, man. That'll hinder your modeling career. Just a barrage of stumps. Oh! Flash! What impact! The German suplex. Is it fully locked in? This could be it. Whoa, he gets out of it. He's at another level right now, Michael. With a back suplex. Perhaps he's thinking the ring can't contain what he has in mind here. I'll tell you, watching Extreme Rules matches make me happy. My in-ring days are behind me. You talk about a treacherous environment to compete in. That connected. I think that was harder than the first time, Cole. Doing some more damage here. Michael, that is so dangerous. He's absorbed some damage already. He planned for this and can still rally. This is a treacherous match indeed, as Corey was saying. I can't even tell you how many times we've seen Extreme Rules matches result in broken bones, stitches, and even trips to a medical facility. Yeah, but despite all those inherent dangers, these superstars still willingly sign up for Extreme Rules matches. That's what amazes me the most. Momentum, the big M, the key word. It can switch and change at any time. And look at the quickness by Cole Quinn. Wow. 
Oh, and that's the second time. Cole Quinn into the cover. No, kicks out in time. Definitely has his work cut out for him. Great way to break down your opponent. Saw that one coming. Oh, and a wicked clothesline. Lightning fast reflexes. Uh-oh. Well measured. Proving tough to catch. He's one step ahead there. Great technical know-how on display. Oh, right to the throat. He's in a little bit of trouble now. It's extreme rules. Serious injury comes with the territory. He has become relentless at this point. That's what he does. Keep on the attack. Again. Hey, it seems to be working for him. Hoist it up. Does he have a win in hand now? Someone's going to be black and blue tomorrow. Two. And he wins the Extreme Rules match. Extreme Rules is not for the faint of heart, as you can see in these highlights. The shoulders are down for three, and this one's in the books. Great effort from both these guys, Michael. I'm willing to bet this isn't the last time we see them square off. The arena is still buzzing over that great match.